Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on X4. Today we're going to be talking about pilots and how to level them up so that you can get them to do things that you want them to do. This will include the pilots that are for your ships and the station managers as well as the same concept is for both. We're going to show you the drastic impacts that it can have on your station managers which is why personally I target your managers first and then your pilots second because if you've watched my other videos you'll know that you can assign people to managers who can do all of the things that the managers can then unlock so without further ado let's get into a couple of the ways you can level up your managers first things first you can do all of this without doing anything at all personally what you can do is you can give your managers subordinates or you can give your pilot subordinates and you can give them tasks and as they progress through doing them tasks and you know just general day-to-day -day things they will gain levels the other thing you've got to take into consideration is when you buy new ships the more crew you put on board them ships the more chance you have of getting higher level crew members you know you take it from a bigger pool so sometimes you get you know more people that are a little bit more skilled than others and then you can move them around with wherever you want to move them around that's easily done if we go into where we have our crew which is in your player information and then you want to go down to your personal management and this is all of your available staffing you'll notice that there are service crews marines all up at the top end here you'll notice that the display skill for role current that's the current role that they are currently are occupying so as a service crew ace dalina is a three and a half star almost three and a half star as a service crew when it comes to doing things like management all you need to do is drop this down and change it to manager and that now has their skill in that particular role so then all you need to do is drop it there and you'll notice that there are certain people like marines that are one and a half stars these will unlock things for you so when it comes to things like um trying to do trading mining and stuff like that you can set them as managers and the jump gates that they'll have available will be a little bit more you still can't do too much with them but it's a little bit better than having a zero star so that's one thing to think about to adjust where your crews are, all you need to basically do is right click. You can promote them to a captain, which will promote them to the captain of that ship. Sometimes that doesn't work because your captain is so high level that it's going, no, 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 no. This captain needs to remain where it is because it is high level. You can ask it to work somewhere else for you, which is where you can then adjust where they are. You can fire them or you can talk to them and they'll basically give you the same thing. Clicking on work somewhere else for you brings you onto your map so then you need to find what ship it is or what station it is that you're wanting to move your crew member to you do gain the assigned staff box in the top right here which will give you the fields of expertise you'll notice that they're a captain and a marine as the highest levels manager you can see there this is really useful as a quick glance if you're thinking to yourself hold on a second uh, what was i doing with this person oh wait hold on a second uh, well he was already a marine and i'm thinking of making him a captain ah oh, yeah yeah two and a half star yeah okay so it's a little bit of a glance you can then go into wherever it is you're going so for example say you want to move them to the basic training station you right click the basic training station you select the role and you click on manager now as you can see here it says cannot replace current person at this post for them to move into another location that position needs to be available so bear that in mind so there's a couple of things you can do if we back out of here and we go to our map you're obviously going to be looking at what you can improve. So you go, all right, well, how's my station looking? Oh, yeah, no, he's terrible. No, we're going to have to replace you. So then you can right click here. You can ask them to work somewhere else for you. You can find the ship that's got availability. You can see these don't have availability. They're all full. Save for here. You can make this one as a captain because technically this ship is my ship. So I am the captain. So that captain spot is available. And you can just keep looking. Obviously, all of these I've set at the moment to have full crew. That's just for the guide purposes. So I can show you what happens when you run out of space. So, yeah, we can't move them anywhere. So, fortunately, you're going to have to go to them, right-click them, and fire them. That person is now gone. Another alternative is you can buy another ship. And then you can, of course, put them into that ship. So, what I tend to do is, as it's early game, I'll put in one crew. One crew here, one crew there, one crew the other. And then when I'm starting to move people around, I'll move them around rather than firing them because they've still got things by that stage that are useful to you. Obviously, you do get bigger and better people in terms of skills, but 
I just generally move them around rather than firing them. Crew does cost as well, which we'll come to in a later stage. So now that we've got space, you can see now we've got the little red icon there saying acquire manager. That's a role, a, a job, a position that is available. You can also notice it in your mission manager. If you go to your upkeep missions, you'll notice the basic training station says acquire manager. They've now had it where it actually shows it on the property own section, which is really nice. So we go back to our player information, over to our personnel management. We then find a manager role. It's remembered what we were doing. And we go, right, well, the top one here is this one here. Work somewhere else. Right click, select the role as a manager, and assign. That person will now go over to that station and become that station's manager. You'll also notice that we can actually see it from here because he has disappeared. But he'll be somewhere. If we go to our work, oh, there it is. Nope, that's the other one. That's the elite one. Training station minor, trader elite. So you can go looking through them. That's all the flagships. Basic trading station. There he is. Ace cult. Just dropped him down at the bottom. So you can still find him on this map. It's just sometimes they move them around, sometimes they don't move them around. So keep an eye out on that when you're moving your crew around. Sometimes they stay exactly where they are in the lists. Sometimes they disappear off that list. So if you're working down, just keep an eye on it. So that's how you move your crew around and how you can look at what skills they are. But now you really want to improve on your skills. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... We're going to make some positions here. So I'm going to go to my basic gas miner here, the top one. And I'm going to go to the crew. And I'm going to go to my service crew here. And I'm going to just fire a couple of these service crew. So we've now got two positions and we're going to move on to our next section. Now, you can replace the captain with the best crew member. So if you've got crew members on board, which are better, click on this and it will give you the best captain for the job. And it will shove the other captain somewhere where the other one was because he's a recruit marine now. So another way you can also improve on your skills of your ships. So that basic gas miner is now a one star. So we can now do more stuff than the rest of them can. But... We're not getting where we want to get. Bear in mind, if you're starting and you're only getting one pilot, then you may not have crew that can take over the position. So how do we get better crew? One or two ways we can do that. I'm going to teleport to a ship that happens to be on a wharf. So a lot of the stations, um, it doesn't actually have to be a wharf. It could be somewhere that you basically got a docking platform. You'll notice there are people that walk around. Now, this one happens to be a bit of a quiet one. Can we see anybody on the platforms? Okay, there's nobody on this platform, by the looks of it. Let's see if we can spot anybody down this way here. No, this one's a quiet one. But we can move over, and there'll be some people on some of the other ones. There'll be people down there. Oh, there you go, there's one down there. Is this our down? Oh, that's the down. Oops. I think they both go down. There we go. So we wait for the lift and drop into our lift. Now you may be thinking, why do I just cut this and just hide it from the the, uh, the video? Well, because you're going to have to do this. So I want to show you the steps that I've taken to get new crew. So you jump out and you find somebody. Now this is a little bit more expensive way of doing it, but you go up to someone here and you can talk to them. You see, it gives you a little bit of a breakdown on the bottom right there. You can see that they've got some stars um, they got like a, a, a nearly a full star in piloting, but a full star in engineering. So this one, not a great one. So we can go over to someone else. How are you looking here, sir? Hello. Uh, you're worse than the other person. So you can go ahead and look around for crew. And is that somebody there? That looks like somebody over there. Let's see if these people are any better. Hello. Hello. Uh, your boarding's not too bad. Let's just I pressed the wrong button there. Here we go. So boarding morale. So this one here, piloting one star pilot. So you can talk to them and you can hire them. Now look at the price: four hundred nine thousand credits. That's expensive. That's half, almost half a million credits to to recruit and hire this person. But we'll say we're flush with cash, so we want to hire them. We now have to give them a choice of where we want to put them. 
Now you notice, now I'm no longer in my flagship. My flagship now needs a, a captain. Um, I'm going to put him in there. So you can right click, you'll see the higher fee comes up and your final balance comes up. You can choose to put him as a captain, a marine or a service crew. We'll put him as a captain for now because we don't have a captain so he can't move anywhere. And we're going to pop him in there. So he's now a pilot. So if we go on to our menu now and we go to our flagship, there he is there. And you'll see that he's a one star, just as we expected. But he's got good morale and the piloting could be picked up a little bit. That'll help overall, and obviously the rest of the crew also helps because they're ridiculously high starred. But I'm still not satisfied with his level. He's only a one star. We want a three star. We want to unlock that advanced auto mine. So if we head on down to the teleporter, and you want to go to a station, a trading station, or a, a station that has a ship dealership because they have the traders' corners. So you want to find stations with traders' corners. You want to pop in, go to your trader, talk to your trader, and show me your words. And here we have general words. A basic seminar for management, basic seminar for pilot, and a basic seminar for a one-star crew pilot. As you notice here, it doesn't really tell you much about it, but basically we're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase all of these. Look at the cost. We already had zero-star pilots, so if we gave the pilot a basic seminar and a one-star crew... We're probably going to be better. So, we've purchased them now. So now we go onto our map. And we go to our flagship crew member. And we go right click. Com. Give seminar. Seminar for one star crew. Go back. Goodbye. He's now a two star pilot. Now, if you go around looking at all the stations, have a bit of a fly around, you're going to be flying around anywhere. Anyway, whenever you drop onto a station, drop into your trader's corner, buy all of the seminars you can. You can start choosing which people you want as your higher crew members. This basic trading station, he is a one star now, so we can't give him the management because it requires a one star crew management. But say... Our flagship person here was going to be a manager. We go to the comms, give seminar. Because he's at the level for a basic seminar, it will give you the option to give a basic seminar. This is what option they require, not what you have in stock. So if they're grayed out, it means you don't have them in your inventory and they require that level. So if you're thinking to yourself, I'm sure I bought some seminars. The likelihood is, is you probably bought the seminars for a different ranking of pilot. There are rankings for one stars and two stars that I see more often than not. I'm not sure if there's a three star. Potentially there is, but I tend not to look for the three stars because by the time I'm at two stars, they can already start doing things a little bit better. Certainly as managers, because what you could do is you can have the manager set up to have a subordinate. For example, if we place this subordinate here and we go mine for commander, we can now see that this trader here even though it's only a one star, could do one jump gate. And it's standard auto mine. It's basically local auto mine, but it now has one jump gate. It also has one jump gate for sales. So if I then set one up for trade for commander, it will now buy and sell from one jump gate. So that can now provide for the Argon Prime. So I set my stations up and then I try to improve my managers. Now, bear in mind, this is only a basic manager. You know, we can get a one-star manager quite easily, uh, seminar for that manager quite easily, so that we can then get him up where he's doing multiple jump gates. And again, that's how you improve. That will then slowly improve that manager more and more because they can do more and more things. And then you can start moving your managers around where you need them to go. And then you can start rotating crew through your fleet by that stage, you've probably got enough people that you, you've probably got decent amounts of uh, high-level crew. Hopefully, this video has helped out and you've uh, been able to have a look at how you can actually improve your, your crew. Remember, everything does take time. Don't expect to do things over one day. It's going to take a development, but you can speed things up just by doing the seminars here. Your crew will level themselves up, though, with no credits, but you will notice that giving them seminars is far, far cheaper than buying a higher level crew member already. We improved the person we paid almost a quarter of a million for with something that was less than a thousand credits. 
just to put into perspective, it's far easier doing seminars than it is buying the crew. That's going to be us for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or if you are still struggling with anything like this. If there's any questions whatsoever, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you want a little bit more of an in-depth discussion, then remember you can join our Discord where we talk through things like this on a regular basis, where there's always people happy to help, and hopefully we can get you on your way. But until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all next one. Bye-bye for now.